Hey guys, uh, welcome to another OpenShift screencast. So uh, if you've watched the uh, screencast on installing the Node.js cartridge, um, you will see that I kind of attempted to install the the MariaDB cartridge uh, on CentOS. Um, now for some reason the um, installation failed uh, due to some dependency problems and um, uh, I kind of figured out that the problem was actually from the original uh, RPM that was packaged um, the original spec file that defined uh, the kind of RPM build that came from the that came from the cartridge. So uh, if you're wondering what I'm what I'm talking about, uh, if we go to the uh, to the GitHub uh, com uh, open shift uh, origin server, I think. I just want to show you the cartridge and I'll show you the uh, way the cartridge is set up, uh, you know. So by default, the cartridge is set up to work with um, Fedora, but because we're using CentOS or RHEL, uh, we're basically using something else. So for instance, uh, in this case, under the cartridge section here, uh, under, under MariaDB, yes. All right, you will see that uh, the spec files uh, that is used to uh, kind of build the RPM here requires the MariaDB server and MariaDB developer. Uh, now, if you're using uh, Fedora, uh, this would be a nice fit for you. Uh, but in this case, we're using Red Hat 6, uh, CentOS 6. So we need to install it from the um, you know SCL repo. Uh, that's the software collection repo. Uh, so what I did was to uh, append um, kind of add a check uh, to say if the if the OS is Fedora, then you should go ahead and use this. Otherwise, you should go ahead and use this as well. So, uh, if you're wondering uh, what I mean, uh, so at this section of your you modify the section, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add a check. In this case, just going to check if it's Fedora and and if here. So basically we're saying if it's Fedora, then you should go ahead and use the MariaDB server and develop. Otherwise, you should go ahead and use this. Uh, so the moment I did this change, um, I went ahead and uh, built the RPM from that and I uh, pushed it to my local, uh, you know, my packages uh, repo where I have the OpenShift packages. All right, so that's what I did behind the scenes, um, if you guys are wondering. So now what I want to do is I want to do a yum search again. Uh, open shift origin cartridge. So I just want to get the exact name for that. Takes a while. It's uh, while it's doing that, you can go ahead and do the same thing on the. You don't have to do this actually. I'm just doing it just to ensure that by getting the same consistency of our RPM packages across, nothing big in this case. All right, so okay, so the search went through and can see a couple of uh, cartridges. Uh, the one we want to try in this case is the OpenShift Origin um, cartridge Mario DB. So let's go ahead and try that. We have install. All right. So let's try the same thing here. So we um, install. Right, so give that a moment to fetch the dependencies and all right so uh, as opposed to previously you can see that um, this time around the, the cartridge doesn't check uh, in this case uh, basically what it does is it doesn't check for the um, just kind of installs from the SCL repo in this case MariaDB 5.5 and uh, basically all the dependencies all right so I'm going to go ahead and accept this uh, so for some reason this is still failing uh, 
I'm guessing we have to flush the cache, so we um uh, in all and we install it again. Alright, so we wait for this to install. 